With how close you were sitting to the steering wheel, you must be vertically challenged. No, I'm just very short. I that, those are synonymous. Do oh. <laughs> you have any idea how fast you were going? No. Do you realize that you're in a marked construction zone with workers present? Posted speed limit, 25 miles an hour. Your speed, 79. I was going 70. Yeah, you blew past me like I was in reverse. And I locked it in on my radar because you're literally the fastest car I've ever seen go over this bridge, ever. And you have a windshield that looks like a road map. And you're not wearing your seatbelt. And you're at a criminal amount of speed. Your speed is so fast, it's literally insulting to the law. I know that you may have been confused with the 79 as in State Route 79 or Speed 79. It's State Route, not Speed Limit. It's a mandatory court date. Even though we're here in Florence, the court's actually located in Coolidge. Phone number, or the address right here is the address for the court. Uh, phone number there. Mandatory. That is correct, because it's criminal in nature, because you're triple the speed limit. Um, so, by signing this, all you're saying is that you promise to appear. It means that I don't have to take you in the cuffs, drive you across the bridge to where our jail is, and book you into jail for the offense of criminal speed. You can just go there and talk to the judge. So, you do have to go to court. And I know that you know where it is because you were there earlier today, so you have to go back there. I appreciate you being cool with me. All right, so you've obviously you've met two other of my friends. Yeah, being respectful, I've noticed a lot. People say F the pigs, F this, F that, but I've noticed every single time I've gotten stopped and I'm respectful, they respect me. Absolutely, 100%. Absolutely, and there's been there's no lack of respect here, right? We're just we're two gentlemen working through a problem, and what what allows me to be somewhat cordial yet professional with you is the fact that you're cool. If you were a jerk, yeah. we'd be having a whole different conversation. The overwhelming vast majority of cops are like that, and the other two guys that you met from Pinal yeah, County, they, they, yeah, they arrested me and they caught me, but they're just doing it. And, and I tell you, both of those dudes are cool dudes, man. They're both good guys. So. You, you just happen to keep running into us and we just keep arresting you. But at least we're, we're all respectful with you. The reason I stopped you is you're displaying expired registration, you have an illegible license plate, and your window tint's all illegal. How was that illegal? How was what illegal? The tent. When I got it, they, they said it was in the spot. That is. Thing with what? I don't need that. Got it. <laughs> Drops license. There we go. Um, no, that is 100% illegal. Absolutely, unequivocally, absolutely illegal. That's crazy, because when I got it, when I got it, he told me, I asked him, is that the level I can have? And he told me, yeah. We're out you, in Arizona because you, the sir, have been lied to. I'm gonna put this on your window, and it's gonna tell me how much light goes on this side to that side. Okay. Um, the legal percentage, the verbiage is 33% plus or minus 3%. So I say anything that's over 30% is good. Okay. So this is gonna be probably said five, three. So that means 3% of the light outside gets inside. Okay. That's what limo tint is. I only did that just to tell you, I'm not gonna, it is a citable offense in the state of Arizona. I'm not gonna write you a ticket for it. I just did it so that you know. So you're gonna get a warning for window tint, crack windshield, uh, you have that license plate cover around your license plate. Okay. Well, it covers up the word Arizona. So letter of the law is that that's considered an obscured license plate because I can't read the state. So. And again, I'm not writing you a ticket for it. Just me providing you some information. Any questions I can answer for you before I kick you loose? No, you did, you did great, man. I appreciate, I appreciate it. you, man. No, oh, man, that's, I stop people all day. That's all I do is stop people and talk to people standing here at their windows. It's fun. Hey, man, it was a pleasure meeting you. you Take care of that stuff and drive safely. Yeah, oh, I took that question. Yep. The, with the tent. Uh, the back? Back windows are fine. It's just, got to get just the front driver's side and front passenger. And that's it. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. So the posted speed limit there was 25. The normal speed limit without all this construction zone is 45. Your speed when I first saw you was 64. When I locked it in on my LiDAR was 61. So I would be pulling you over even if you weren't entering a 25 mile per hour posted construction zone. Now I did not to ever do that again. You can't. I don't do that. Yeah, it's not, uh, I've been doing this for 20 years and not one time has that ever happened and today isn't gonna be the day that changes that. Um, but what I didn't do was cite you for the increased uh, fine of speeding in a construction zone. All I did was just write you a regular old speeding ticket. So, um, and again, I did that. You're also at a criminal amount of speed because you're more than are 20. You now? Oh yeah, you're more than 20 miles an hour over the speed limit in a residential area. So you are not only 
speeding in a construction zone, but you're criminal speeding in a construction zone. And all I did was write you a regular speeding ticket. I didn't write you a criminal ticket, just a regular old ticket. Now I'm going to write in my notes that I gave you all these breaks, because if you were silly enough to try to contest this in court, then I would go to court and say, look, Your Honor, I didn't write her criminally, which she was. I didn't write her for speeding in construction zone, which she did. I just simply, I cut her a break and she's still looking this gift horse in the mouth. And it just makes me look nice, which I am.